in a recession you need cash. How about pennies in a can? Miller Lite, it's your beer. <sighs> this is the Beer's Gone Bad, where the beer flows like wine. Tonight, we're your hosts. I'm Pat Tugin. I'm Scott Van Book. This is Matt. This is Jamie. And we have a very, very classy edition of Beers Gone Bad tonight. We thought we'd class it up a bit because we're doing a high, high life kind of style beer. It's not high life. It is. Da -da -dun, da -da -dun, da -da -dun. Miller Lite. Laces out, Dan. <laughs> Although not the official beer sponsor of the NFL, they're should embracing be. the fact that it's oh, damn well should be. You know, they get screwed. Think so? Yeah. Bud Light kind of earned it. We got four dudes sitting in a little tiny little spot here. Fine. Scott, Ooh. I'm going to challenge you to those two. Let's do this. Oh, shit. <laughs> it's culminating now. Miller Lite, for those not in the know, is one of the three macro brews. You have Coors, mm -hmm. Miller, yeah. and Bud. Bud, obviously, is the biggest one of all of them. And the underdog that we don't have here, which is an East Coast celebrity, Yingling. Mm. Jamie, you know about the biggest one? Oh, Bud is the biggest one by far. Purchased recently by InBev of Europe. I don't. I think the only one that's still American is Coors. Yeah, right. isn't this Belgian? Yeah. At this point, yeah, they're not really American. Yeah. Laces out. Laces. No oh, shit. Laces are out. I'm gonna slip back into this. Ah. I'm so excited for the color test. Oh. We are doing the color test tonight. Jamie, lead us off here. Yeah, lead us off, Jamie. One Bud Light, ten Rasputin. This is coming in at a. Uh, I can see Pat perfectly, so I'm gonna go with a one and a half. One. I'm gonna go with a one, dude. That's just straight up like urine. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna give it a one. I'm gonna take a look through it. I can't what smell anything. I just smell college. What do you smell there? I smell, I smell sophomore year of college. I'm maybe, gonna go with maybe freshman. I think this is designing water. If you were to take a glass of water, stick a handful of pennies in it for about a week, <laughs> this is what it's gonna smell like. It reminds me of like what the pavement in a backyard smells like after a party. Like well, you're like walking you, back where you, you're all. If you drop, you drop like an orange skittle like in a glass of water for like six hours and just let it sit and let it go all white and then like the rest of it remains like this. We but don't mean to offend. Like that. Just, this okay. is just how it's rolling. This is my favorite beer, by the way. Miller Lite is really. Yeah. God. Wow. I'm a Budweiser man. Really? Oh, absolutely. Like straight up Bud straight. or Bud Light? No, Bud Heavy. I'm gonna go Pacifico on that one. So boring. Well, this is about Miller Lite. I know. I'm sorry. <laughs> <sighs> Let's jump into it. What do you taste? Right off the bat, there's a lot of complexities there. Um, do you taste nickel or do you taste copper? See, yeah, that's what I'm doing. It tastes almost like a mix of change. <laughs> like 35 cents. I was about to say 35 cents. I, I was, I was, we're on the yeah, same page. Yeah, 35. I was thinking... It's, oh, which is interesting because this did cost 35 cents. I'm <laughs> kind of on a different page. I'm going to go with 43 cents. I feel Ooh. like this is a little bit higher class than what you guys are putting What's in now. There's probably a few more pennies in there. You might well, even have a quarter, At 43 right? cents, I'm doing... Four, four dimes and three pennies. I feel like this has got a little bit more nickel in it than it does copper. That is a bold claim. That is I was going to go. Claim. I was going to go actually more like six pennies and you know three dimes. Mm. I can see that. I can see that. Yeah. I respect yeah. that view. So I compute. Yeah. That's sure. Steve Jobs. So yeah. Where would you be enjoying this beer best? Anywhere in the United States of America. No. Mm. Bold claim. I'm going to say the Midwest. Really? Yeah. I'm gonna say that's a that's a broad area though. You know what's great about Miller Lite is like it's it's summertime, it's winter time. It's I get called out for the Midwest college, being broad. It's Miller summer. time. It's it's Miller time, you know, and it's a hallmark statement. It's Miller time. Let's drink to that. We don't drink much light beer on this show, if you haven't noticed. The first time we've done this ever, really, actually, no, the first we we did a blind taste test, matching these three up to a blind taste test to see if we could tell the difference between Miller, Coors, and uh, Bud. Top or so far. And we did not, we did not this is a good point. do very well on that. I got a question. How many beers have you guys tasted on the show that they sell on a 30 pack? Oh, wow. Uh, we did Coors. We did one review actually like that. That's Coor it. Do they sell Coors in a 30 pack? Though? Oh, yeah. Like cans? I would oh. assume so. They shoot Coors it at you. Coors Coors Light? Uh, we did Coors Original, didn't we? Oh. Milk anything with nipples. No, we did. We did, uh, we did Original. 100% Original. That dude, they got to do the Coors Original on a 30 pack. At this point, guys, I want to congratulate us. <laughs> We uh, I'm not not a big credit. Not as balanced but as the beer. We have done 87 reviews at this point. Really? Yeah. So Scott, cheers to you. Yeah, cheers to you. Thank bro. you, Jamie. Cheers. Thank you for showing up, Matt. Cheers. 
Cheers. Do you guys really feel like this lid is a taste protection lid? Well, you well yeah, without it, dude, you wouldn't be able to taste the it pennies. Yeah, it tastes like 12 cents. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly the lid for tasting. Scott, that's a goddamn good point, dude. This would taste like 12 cents without the lid. Yeah. It's really just holding in the value. And you know what? How many beers have a picture of the ingredient on the front? Is that a triple hop sprued Miller Lite? I've actually seen, I've seen a, a couple of those. I like the fact that they put the laces on it just in case when you're done you want to throw it like a football at your girlfriend because you're super <laughs> drunk. <laughs> and you're and she messed up the football game. Uh, mm. For the record, I'm There's holding my breath. Man. Dude, Pat, this is the tightest vest I've ever worn in my entire life, dude. I'm like almost bursting out of the buttons here. Crossfit. Join Cross it. Crossfit. Are you doing Crossfit? <laughs> yes, we are doing Crossfit. Nice. Man. We're doing 85% <laughs> of Crossfit. On our own regiment. Let me time. tell you something about Pure Bar. You heard of Pure Bar? I don't know. Scotty, what's our time? Um, Pure Bar, hit me. I'd like to talk more about the beer. Pure yeah, bar. we got three minutes and five seconds to cover both subjects, so I think. <sighs> Pure Miller Lite. <laughs> Miller Lite, Pure Bar. Miller Lite. I your Miller says <laughs> on the back for Miller Lite. If you live in the Midwest and are. Oh! Please. God, did I nail it? If Sorry. You li- Sorry. Go ahead. Exciting. If you live in the Midwest and are pregnant, please try this beer before Budweiser. It will cause less birth defects. Does it really say that? Yeah, it's weird. Pure. Wow. Dude, it's it's verbatim. It's a union, too. I don't know if they did that for football season or what, but That's insane. we should probably check that out. <clears throat> I'm not a fan of Bud Light, I'm going to be honest with you. They have it before you really? drive, too. This beer, I'll drink about wow. nine of these and get about as drunk as I would after about maybe one good, like, Islander IPA or something. I have a question, though. How many calories are in this whole can? I'm going to say 30. I'm going to give it a 100. I'm going to say 100. 96. 96! Oh, oh, 30 was a good guess. How many calories <laughs> in water? Zero? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I, isn't this beer brewed with rice? Is that... Is that yeah, most all the big Am I throwing that just craziness out no, there? No, no, they're, they're predominantly... Uh, well, I mean, why don't you guys explain a little bit about macro brews? Macro brews are a watered-down version of the microbrew industry. It was something that happened when Prohibition got released after the 1930s. What are you mouthing? After the 1930s, Prohibition was... Confidence. Done. The, why do they start the, brewing it and watering it down, though? The ingredients for... To it. make so more you, of it. Yeah, exactly. Oh. So you can make more of it cheaply. So instead of just using, like, using hops, barley, or fucking and water, whatever, you add rice. Yeah, what's beer made with, Scott? Uh, magic. <laughs> <laughs> um, so they use rice, and then they do it in these huge, huge vats, and to get the consistency, they mix. So, like, if you get a microbrew, sometimes it'll taste a little funky, sometimes it'll taste a little citrusy. Anyways, you get the, you, you get the individuality from a microbrew that you won't get from the big three because they cross. Pollinate basically. Yeah, exactly. They make about a bajillion batches and then cross pollinate them to make sure they all taste like so shit. So they all taste the same. Do, do the you same think the guys way. that make this would be capable of making tasty yeah. beer? Oh, of course. Really. So I, I mean, some of the, the guys that make this are probably some of the better brewmasters there are, but they make this as opposed to. No, these guys know their stuff, but they do this because they're on a macro level because they have to fully qualify. Unless you went to school for like. You, chemistry and you just got a job like okay cool I know my numbers I know my widgets but I don't care about beer I damn went to school with that guy yeah went to brewing school and the guy was just like yeah I don't drink beer but I have a job waiting for me and it was with one of the big three they do this because they have to make but, literally a million barrels over like a yeah. four month period so because everybody drinks it. Consistency. Consistency. make Miller Lite is what you're saying <laughs> I, don't, I wouldn't go that far I'm I would say brewers would make Miller Lite brewers make Miller Lite no the most intelligent no the okay. highest paid the high, yes <laughs> yes Nicolet. That's the fourth degrees. time you said that tonight. You like Nicolet? Can you name one 90 degree song? 96. I can't. 2 plus 1 no, minus no. 1 equals 1. Nicolet Shea got a lifetime supply of Miller Lite. I was about to say that's a better calculator. Calculus man. She burns 13 once a week. Twice. I'm going to go ahead and give this on a scale 1 to 10. 1, 10. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna give this a uh, 2.5. They have that video where they're all rolling in the sun. I'm gonna say, I'm actually gonna say a four. I think it's an okay beer. I like Revision, it. four. Thank you. Like I'm gonna be last. And you know why? Because out of all the three three now. discussed, that being Bud, Coors, and this one, I think this one is actually fairly neutral. Don't and for the type of beer that you're drinking, it's way better. It's succinct in that point. 
It's neutral. That's what you want. You want to drink it fast and at any occasion. And why not? I'm going to give this beer a... <laughs> um, I'll give it a three and a half. Jamie? I'm going seven. Cause it's... What? Oh, Bill Curve. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what? It's America's beer. It's not America's beer. There's a football on it. But it's not America's so beer. There's Eagles on it, Jamie. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Look right there. Yeah. It's a hop plant. It's a hop plant. It's got wings. <laughs> <laughs> You're really going to throw a seven, seriously? Yeah, I love this beer. I really do. I love it. I part love the, it. Part of the reason for drinking beer is something you drink for four to five hours straight. Some of the heavier beers you really can't do that with. Those are actually called session beers, that's right. That is, it actually is. A session beer is technically a 4.5 to 5% beer that you can drink tons of. And this is, and this is exactly what I'm gonna hold this, hold this together, hold this together. This is the beer's gone bad. We will be back in two seconds with a PBR review. Stay tuned, because we're gonna get drunk. Woo! Cheers!